Hi, and welcome back to Paper Doll Patrol. It's been a little while since we've put together a video clip, but the kids have decided they'd like to try something new. We've been learning a lot about how different people can affect change in their world and in their culture through their actions and through their beliefs, and what it means to be a hero, and how heroes stand up for what they believe in, and heroes never give up. The children have picked their own hero that they would like to study, and have decided that it would be a great idea to interview them to get a better understanding of who they are and what they have done. The only problem with that is that most of the people they chose were already dead. So I've come prepared and we'll see how these interviews go. Let's go hunt some historical figures. I'm Christopher Columbus. Yeah, I'm Christopher Columbus. Yeah, I'm Christopher Columbus. I was born in 1451 and I died in 1506. I was an Italian explorer and a person who takes people to places where no one is living and I was a navigator. I'm the person who discovered America. I lived in Italy and learned to sail when I was young. Some people believe the world was flat, but I believed it was round. My first trip was to the Bahamas Island. I did four journeys. I wasn't the first person to discover America, but I was the first person to take people from Europe to live there. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Alexander Fleming. Did you know I was born at Lockfield Farm on the 6th of August, 1881? Sadly, I died at the age of 73, and now I'm just a memory. When I was alive, I discovered penicillin, which is an infection-fighting antibiotic. Did you know that doctors around the world today still use penicillin for treating illnesses? In World War I, I actively searched for antibacterial agents, having witnessed the death of many soldiers from sepsis, resulting from infected wounds. I am proud that I discovered penicillin and have saved millions of people around the world. Hello, my name is Mary Anning. I was born on May the 21st, 1799, and died on the 9th of March, 1847. I was a British fossil collector, paleontologist, and I became known around the world because of my prehistoric finds in marine fossil beds and cliffs along the English Channel at Lyme Regis. My work led to changes in scientific thinking about prehistoric life and the history of Earth. People thought that the only animals that ever lived were the ones that were alive at the time, but when I found fossils, it proved that other types of animals must have lived before. When I was a young girl, I searched for fossils in the area's blue the ice cliffs, particularly during winter months when landslides exposed new fossils that had to be collected quickly before they were lost to sea. It was dangerous work and I was nearly killed in a landslide in 1833 that killed my dog, Trey. I sold the fossils in a shop outside my house to people all around the world and told people about my discoveries. The tongue twister she sells seashells by the seashore by Terry Savillan was based on me because of the shop I had outside my house where I sold my fossils. My discoveries included the thirstic theosaur skeleton, the first two plesiosaur skeletons and the first pterosaur skeleton and other fish fossils. My observations played a key role in the discovery that coprolites was fossilised poop. From the poop, I figured out what extinct animals ate and what their environment was like. I found lots of fossils and made lots of discoveries, which gave Charles Darwin his ideas about adaptations and extinction. Hi, my name is Rod Green Pell. I was born in 1857 and died in 1941. When I was 19, I joined the army. I invented Boy Scouts and I wrote a book for them to help them. The book was called Scouting for Boys. I saved Africa because their town had an attack. I helped the community by making scouts and the scouts helped the other people. I invented scouts for a fun activity for everybody. By starting the scouts, I helped the community because all the good work that my scouts do 
things like helping the people in the nursery homes, planting new bush land, collecting food from other people who doesn't have any, doing clean up jobs and lots more. I changed the way people live, but not everybody, but millions of people over 150 countries around the world. Well, all in all, that was a very successful expedition. Christopher Columbus, Alexander Fleming, Mary Anning and Robert Baden-Powell all on our first trip. And as you can see, we've still got room for quite a few more. So, join us next time on Historical Figure Hunt when we'll be chasing down the elusive Abraham Lincoln. See you then. Louder.